be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. And this one, we are going to be talking about the VV verse, and we're going to be talking about the future of what we can expect from metaverses in general. Now, this, I'm not going to say, like, this is an interesting discussion, but there are some things that I'm not even, you know, like on that same wavelength as far as people planting chips in your brain. And in fact, even though this is literally the technology Elon Musk is working on right now, but it's like certain things I'm not, I'm not getting behind that. Like you're not implanting nothing in my brain or, or nothing like that. Because I am like I I have seen this I've read I've I've read passages of the Bible like you know I I know what I know what some certain stuff mean and what it lead to and while everyone may not be religious that's perfectly fine I don't really care one way or another all of this stuff like the similarities and 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 what's being said and how once chips start getting implanted it start goes towards the end of days it's like. I feel like this stuff is based in truth and I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to even be something religion related. It could just be, uh, uh, like, I think that at some point in time, we have actually, the world has been, progressed farther than people may realize. We might've been here before. We might've had an internet before. We might've had all this stuff before, but it's just every trace of this has just been buried. Like we still haven't even explored like 90 something percent of the water, like 98% of the wor world's water, the oceans and stuff. It's unexplored. Like we haven't been able to see the majority of what's under that water. So if if we have been super super advanced at some point before, all signs of that has been washed away. It has, has, it's like you can't you can't find any of it, any proof and any evidence of this. All you have is stuff like pyramids that lead you wondering, like, yo, how could they have possibly done this? So that being said, I think that there may be some some proof and stuff in some of the old documents and old stuff that was written that 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 points towards stuff like this really being a danger and it could just be something as simple as oh once these start getting in your mind it's something like once you put chips in your mind it has an unexpected result maybe maybe hacking the whole world becomes easier because you hack anybody with those chips or something so yeah i mean that's the type of stuff that i believe in that's the type of stuff that i think is could be possible and yeah, so that's my mindset towards some of this. So that needless to say, some of this stuff I would not get behind, like even as far as like, um, that's what the world's going to, because I don't believe that you're going to convince a huge chunk of the world to put chips in their brain. But anyway, that's just like one of the, the speculations that some people take this meta, these metaverse stuff to that extreme where that's what it's really going to get going. We all got chips and it's like, eh, like give me a headset, something that I can put on and take off. At the point where I can't put it on to take it off, it's not, it's not, it's, that's not happening. But yeah, that being said, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And let's actually jump into this because it's actually a pretty dope, dope conversation. You got your like your body, mind, spirit, consciousness, your subconscious. You might eventually end up with like another character mm -hmm. of yourself. The metaverse stuff is is it's the it's the second coming of the internet. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's the internet, right? The internet changed everything and it took a while. Like it took, it took like this long for the internet to have that big of an impact almost. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could go back. What, what, what could we say? Like five to seven years ago is when the internet really had a crazy impact. Right. Yeah. Um, well, this next thing that's coming, like this metaverse shit is going to be like the second coming of that, of, of something similar, but mm -hmm. it's going to be even, uh, going a lot faster because the technology is already accelerated and so the see and this is the like this is what i mean by um understanding and looking towards the future it's like you have a group of the world who's stuck in the past stuck in the standards and things that's happening like oh this will never pass bitcoin you're comparing stuff to stuff in the past stuff like oh this will never pass tesla you're saying that this is going to be worth people are not realizing that we have new age technology so it sounds ridiculous when you just say things like oh this is going to pass Tesla, this is going to pass. Um, Amazon, all these established companies that's that's just super super big. People don't realize like a lot of the companies that used to exist back in the day that had the highest market caps, those just got passed by companies like Google, Tesla. If some if some technology in human history was going to do this again, and you and companies are going to be built that passes everything that came before, do you not think that this technology is cryptocurrency, NFTs, and and this this right now that, that we're living in? Do you not think that these companies are that thing? The metaverse is that thing. Like it's like it's not hard to really comprehend. Anybody can understand this if they want to. 
Like people think that just because a company is on top right now, that is unpassable. Absolutely not. Because the fact of the matter is there's limitations to certain companies. This cryptocurrency, it's not, you don't, it's, it's not, it's not the same limitations. That's what cryptocurrency allows. So people who make these arguments that, oh, you're going to, you're talking about a company being able to pass Apple, pass this, pass that. And you're not realizing that it's a huge, huge, huge likeliness that, that a lot of these crypto companies are going to start passing um, some of the, the main companies in the world right now. If you don't realize, like, that, why else would this technology be being created if it's not going to pass what we had back then? This is, this, this is stuff to progress the world and people aren't really realizing this. People aren't thinking like this. You got you to gotta, you gotta wake up and see the reality. This is why when all these traders and stuff like that be telling me the reality of what happened in the past, that's cool. That's cool. It is good to know your history. If you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. But also it's good to know the future and, and, and it's good to know your history because at one point in time, all the top companies in the world completely switched and shifted to something else. That is happening again, in my opinion. I think that this technology is what does it. Yes. But anyway. Metaverse will come and then who the fuck knows what's going to Then you want to know what's going to be the next technology that changes it? After the metaverse? After the metaverse, the crypto and all this, after this, the next biggest change that's going to happen is like spaceships and, and stuff like that. Like like that, in my opinion, that's what's going, that's when we're getting into like the crazy money where you got companies literally like going into space and back and stuff like that. And it's a norm. There's something built on other planets, like the planets that's in reach to what it, where you start going here and building things on these planets. And now you're, 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 you know, like it, where we really get advanced. That's what's going to be the next thing to move it. But that that's definitely like, you got crypto stuff that's years out and, and metaverse stuff that's years out. That being a traveling to different planets and stuff being a norm, that's definitely a lot of years out. So, yeah, like th this is this is where I see the world going personally. Going to be behind that. You got the NFTs and the just virtual real estate and like fuck, man. Like it's just it's kind of scary because you're like, am I going to kind of get left behind if mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on? What the fuck's what is going Absolutely. on? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. It's the Web three or whatever, Web three point oh, which I still NFTs and all that shit. I don't understand, but I remember being a kid and seeing like, oh, look, there's a Pepsi dot com now. And then being like, man, I bet you every company is going to have their own dot com. And when you think about it now, it's like you, you can't even start a company unless you have your web address. You know, like if you want to be taken serious. So, yeah, it's happened. It, it was like Mark said, a super slow burn in the beginning, because as a kid who didn't have the Internet, just watch TV. I, I like the direction of this conversation because it's talking about the transitions that's happened before. It's talking about how the world went from one thing went to the next and when it went to the next that's when the market caps of things boosted so when you're in this train of thought it makes it easier to understand where the world is going as opposed to everybody who keeps making decisions based off of where the world has been and and you need to realize we're at a point in time where that old stuff doesn't make as much sense right now because we're moving into a world that's never existed and the last time this happened all the market caps changed so people going based off a of market cap that has changed historically it's just completely illogical. It's like you're using data that you know is not going to be relevant. Like at no point in history has the world ever had the means to, like other countries are able to make more money off NFT projects, play to earn games. Never at any point in history has these countries been able to make money like this. So now it's gonna be more money to 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 make money, like to um for these companies to be making money from. More people buying stuff because there's more money. And then buying stuff from the, the metaverse ecosystem like, it's just a lot of money is going to be flowing through crypto and NFT space and more than we ever ha have had before for any of these businesses that currently exist now. Cryptocurrency is going to change a lot. And people need to, this is why it's important to not just invest in an NFT because you think it's going to be big based off the IP, but it's very important to actually understand where the world is going and, and the, the value proposition of cryptocurrency. And, like Because people think about this so simple. It's like, oh, we just want to get away from the government. We want to get away from their, the business's control and stuff like this. We want to we want to be decentralized. That's as deep as they think about it. Not realizing that this is this is much bigger than that. Yeah, you, you, you want freedom. Cool. This is much deeper than that. You're never going to be free. You're on this planet. You're stuck on this planet with, with people who are going to use weapons or whatever means possible to control people. You're never going to be truly free on this planet, but you can be as free as, I, I don't know, I, I guess you can be as free as you as you want to be, I guess, as, as free as you believe you are, you know? But just like some of this, like some of this stuff that gives you fake freedom, you can have all your crypto stores to somewhere random.
But if, if, if the government wants to come after you or something for some reason, they will. It's like, or you, you're going to be put on a run or something. It's like, come on now. Like people, I, I get, I get the premise of what people actually want and what they're asking for. But just because something makes you feel like you own it, something makes you feel like you're free, makes you feel like it's, it's about looking at the big picture and not just, not just falling for every, every new thing that makes you feel like, you know, you, everybody's going to be free or this is the answer to all of our problems as if so they're going to let that happen. They have, a, they have militaries in this world. It's militaries exist. And so does, so does nukes and stuff like that. Like free. Okay. I could see the fucking tumbleweed going and then now, yeah, past couple of years, it's fucking crazy. But with, with Oculus, you're right, Mark, or sorry, yeah, uh, Meta. Yeah, Quest and... Uh, yeah, stuff. Meta Quest. They, you, you know, I think Apple has has an opportunity to step in and take a lot of the sharehold there, but there's no other company that's going to be able to keep up with what Meta's doing right now and what they're going to do, especially if, like, the uh, the Quest 3 comes out anytime soon. The that's cap. That's cap. People don't even like Meta. I think because of how powerful that company is, people are going to try to stay or steer away from Meta. And like they, they did just say that they don't understand NFTs and stuff, but IP is going to be king. I think that VV stands a chance against Meta as long as they get the right people to help develop this. And if Disney has something to do with it, they're, like, they, they, they're going to have the right team behind them to help them actually develop a metaverse that's going to be absolutely insane. So, um, yeah, if this partnership with, with Disney is what I believe it to be, there's there's definitely a company that can that can mess with Meta because like people are not going to respect uh Mark Zuckerberg and what he does because they are there's already these narratives spun around him so yeah I mean I think Facebook is going to become a, a a leveled up MySpace you know <laughs> it's going to become a leveled up he's a leveled up Tom you know but then again like he's done way more than Tom ever did because it's more than social media at this point he it's a lot like Facebook a lot comes with Facebook but. I mean, only time will tell, but I don't think Facebook is just like a, a un, indisputable powerhouse right now. Like, I don't. I think that there's a trust factor that's just not there with Facebook. The like, the, what, what's companies the quest from? Meta, Metaverse. So, also from okay. Yeah, everything's just about experience, right? Like, we could sit here and talk <laughs> shit and be like, "That's dumb." Like, I'm never gonna do that, dude. What happens when it's a fucking great experience when you it's go and do it be. and be like, "I went to the gym in Metaverse," or like. And Seema and me and Andrew, we hung out with, you know, I don't know, like mm -hmm. our favorite like lifters. I don't fucking know. We'd probably be able to do a podcast yeah, yeah. within the metaverse. I was and pushing and we're hanging out with 50 live. people or something, you know? Exactly. Dude, right. Yeah, we, we totally can. You have yeah, a great easily. experience and then what? Then you're fucking hooked to it. Then you're like, let's mm -hmm. do it again. That was fucking awesome. And then podcast videos just have us on headsets talking into mics. <laughs> like, that's what it's going to look like. Yeah, but dude. In 10 years, that might be what our podcast looks like. Yeah, but. But the podcast stream will look like us in a fucking, like, wherever we want. We could That's be in true. a fucking mountain. We could be inside, like, wherever. It we could also get fat as fuck. <laughs> and it won't matter. And our avatars will be jacked. Our avatars will look great. My avatars will be so fucking huge. You guys will be like, wait, dude, we're supposed to make it somewhat lifelike. Like, it is. And Seaman I'm doesn't just closer have to, to the camera. And Seaman doesn't have to restrict this beast that lies inside of him that wants to eat so much fucking food any longer. <laughs> dude, so fat. Fat Project Family, how's it going now? We like to look good in the gym and out of the gym. Uh, that's why you always say it. That's V U O R I. It looks so good inside and them down. <laughs> Sect of the pot in their chairs, overweight, not really going outside of the metaverse. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be some people that know how to use it and know how to still live life on earth, <laughs> like still move around. Mm -hmm. So it's going to make another big divide, but we'll see. We'll see how it, we'll see how it continues. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, like the extra factors that it adds to everything. I mean, you got your like your body, mind, spirit. You have like your <laughs> consciousness, your subconscious. And then now you have like this other, you might eventually end up with like another character mm -hmm. of yourself, which is really weird because you're many different versions of yourself already to every single different person that you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even to yourself, you can be many different people. Yeah, It's just fucking odd. And then it's just, it adds just a layer of uh more complication like it's hard just to i love how deep this conversation goes for sure like and this is this is a different mindset this is the type of stuff that i would love to discuss more often around the vv community because then we're looking forward it's not too much looking forward it's people looking at their bank account balance and and looking at their their collection balance 
and looking at the past historical stuff from a bunch of shit that does not matter, that's not actually moving towards the future, because so many people just don't understand that we are going somewhere, and they're basing everything, oh, Vivi's not going to be successful for this reason, basing stuff off of what's happened in the past and things like that. It's like, understand where the world is going and understand why Vivi is significant towards where that world, where the world is going, and then we can have amazing conversations like this that really gets us thinking yo, what is, what is next? Like, what is the future going to look like? And people, like, honestly, it, it would increase the value of things on VV when people realize this stuff isn't going anywhere. You can have all the opinions that you want about these collectibles. You can sit here and try to say, oh, VV is releasing too many collectibles, too many grails, too many this, too many that. And the fact of the matter is this stuff is going to be the first time in history this stuff has ever existed. And NFTs and, and, and this entire space, the metaverse is going to be literally important like people are not going to be able to live without this you know the same way people can't live without a cell phone down there i mean technically you can but you know how people can't welcome to the metaverse except for it's going to be 10 times worse because then your job most people's job is going to be done through the metaverse like is this like it's just the the fact of the matter is we're moving towards a, a new age and people need to get with it like people need to get with it and understand this and start having the conversations that that really stimulates our minds and gets us to some real deep discussion because it needs to be discussed. Organize yourself, much less organize yourself within a relationship, much less organize yourself within a company or within a family or within a community. It's like, it's very difficult. Like you man, you're managing so many different uh, mindsets and so many different beliefs. And then also, uh, so many different feelings, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, if you guys aren't feeling great, if you guys are, are bummed, then it's probably, I might start to feel a little bummed or, uh, I'm like, man, I, I wonder why these guys are down today. And then I try to mm -hmm. pick you guys up and then, and vice versa. Right. And so it's, I don't know. It, I don't know where we're heading. It's yeah. interesting though. Justin Brandis's machine that he brought with him. And I, I love that. That's how you know when somebody is, is wise. That's how you know when somebody is wise because They'll say things like, I don't I don't know where we're headed because no one actually knows. But the discussion, I think that that true, like when you truly at a level where you're, you're understanding things, you're, you're always questioning things. Um, that's the thing with the community. People don't have questions. People are just saying, oh, this is impossible. Are you stupid? You're you, who are you to decide? Like people say that I have a, I come off as arrogant and, and cocky or something like that. But who are you to just believe, you know, you you decide what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. I mean, some of us can admit that we don't know and then have the discussion like to try to hear different sides. A lot of people can't do that much. I can now understand functionality. Mm. If you the video hasn't come out yet, I know when it will, but Justin Brandis was talking about this machine on air that will allow you to just sit in a chair like you're literally lying down and it's really giving you full muscle contraction of your mm. biceps, your abs, your quads, etc. DoorDash exists. I really, mm -hmm. it's going to get to a point, and this is this, it's real. Like, there are going to be some people that are just like, they're making money, but their life is, most of their life, social, whatever, is in the metaverse. You're going to DoorDash your food. You're going to DoorDash your groceries. Um, you're going to have somebody walk your dogs for you. You're. I was just talking about this the other day. I was just talking about literally how shopping is going to be done through the metaverse. Like, life is going to be lived through the metaverse because it's just going to be so convenient. What, do you want to get out you want to leave the house, go in your car, go drive around the stores. I mean, yeah, you're going to do that for nostalgia. Do that just because you can because, um, yeah, like you're going to do it. But it's just going to be so convenient to be on a computer, press a few buttons like because it, it's not going to be the same. You're not going to have to log into a bunch of different websites because of NFTs and because of being able to prove your identity. We're going to be able to just the, 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 when any anywhere you go in the metaverse is going to be known that it's you. Your wallet is going to be attached to you. Like, it's just you, everything that comes with you, including your wallet size and stuff like that. You walk somewhere, you buy it. And, and it's automatically known that you can afford it because they can see, like, it, it sees everything when you request it. It's like, you go there, oh, I want I want this delivered to me. I want this, 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 buy. And now it's shipped to you immediately. And it's like, are you going to really go to the store, pick up some eggs, pick up milk, pick up all of these things where you can literally walk through a metaverse, click three buttons, press buy, and now the same thing is happening much faster and you didn't have to move from your chair. Welcome to the new age, man. And if you're not thinking like this, if you don't realize that this is where we're going, I mean, yo, you got to start. You got to open your mindset. Open your mindset. Don't let these old heads out here really trick y'all into not doing your research and not understanding where the world is moving towards. Because some people would never be able to even fathom a future like this. And we need to have a serious discussion.
is this a future that anybody actually wants? Is this dangerous? Like, what are the cons to this? Because people can't even acknowledge that these pros are happening and it's going to continue to happen. Um, so we can't we can't have the serious discussions. Is this fucking dangerous? But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.